Next up, we have part two, where we'll discuss the origin of Dota's items and abilities that were inspired by the Orc race. To start, the inspiration of Alchemist's Goblin Greed is from the Peon and Grunt Pillage ability. Pillage, when attacking buildings, generates resources. Time to die. I personally think this is how fast Alchemist should be gaining gold as well. The Troll Batrider's Liquid Fire slows the attack speed of enemy buildings and is the basis of Liquid Fire for Jakira. You the boss. The war drums can increase the damage of allied units by a percentage. This damage increase is used in Vladimir's, in Vengeful Spirit's Vengeful Aura, and with the values turned to negative, it is given to Underlord for his damage aura. Devour can target an enemy unit, instantly consuming it. Oldest versions of Doom's Devour used this ability. Uh, now it's just the inspiration. Stasis Trap is the inspiration and the original implementation of the techies. Stasis Trap. Right away. Oh. I, my lord. What you be crazy? I hear the summons. The Witch Doctor's healing ward can heal allies in area of effect for a percentage of their health. That'd be good choice, man. This is the basis of healing ward for Juggernaut. The Shaman's Purge removes buffs from an allied unit or buffs from an enemy unit, and it slows. This is the only purge in the game which slows and is the basis of the White Satyr's purge ability as well as Demonic Purge from Shadow Team. For the whore. Mjolnir's active was inspired by Lightning Shield. Whereas Mjolnir's lightning procs upon damage, Lightning Shield is just a passive damage over time and an area of effect around the unit that is being cast on. Right away. Bloodlust, which increases the attack speed and movement speed of an allied unit, has been given to Ogre Magi for his bloodlust. Right away. Note the increase in size as well. The Spirit Walker's ethereal form can transform him back and forth from an ethereal form. This is the basis of Ghost Scepter in Dota. Spirit Link used to be a totally defensive ability in Warcraft 3, where some of the damage taken by one unit is shared amongst others. In Dota, the Spirit Link has been transformed into Fatal Bond, where not only is the damage shared, but it's felt by the original user as well. Mother Earth guide me. The Farseer's Chain Lightning is a bouncing damage spell. All bouncing damage spells in Dota were based off of this, including Rubik's Fade Bolt, Zeus's Arc Lightning, and Furion's Wrath of Nature. Where if you have only a single bounce, uh, this spell was transformed into Laguna Blade for Lina and Finger of Death for Lion. Of course. Feral Spirit, which summons two wolves for a duration, has been given to Lycan's Summon Wolves. What's interesting is Feral Spirit's wolves also turn invisible and have a chance to crit at the highest levels, which is almost identical to how Summoned Wolves used to work for Lycanthrope. The spell Earthquake is not in Dota, but its effects were the inspiration for Sand King's ultimate. Note that it slows units and deals damage over time to buildings. In Dota, it's just to units as well. I see. There's no other unit in Warcraft 3 whose abilities have been copied more than the Blademasters. Windwalk turns the Blademaster invisible, 
granting Bowden's movement speed and bonus damage when coming out of invisibility. All invisibility that grant movement speed or bonus damage in Dota are based off of this one ability, including Wind Walk from Klinx, Shadow Walk from Bounty Hunter, Vendetta from Nyx Assassin, and Shadow Blade. Hey, excellent choice. Are you hero and obey? Notice the red number. Mirror image creates illusions of yourself, which you can use to fool the enemy. This is the mirror image given to Naga Siren, Phantasm given to Chaos Knight, and the mirror image ability given to Manta Style. Oh. Critical Strike gives the Blade Master a chance to do a bonus damage. Nearly all criticals in Dota are based off of this one ability, including Coup de Gras, and Mortal Strike, and Daedalus. Bladestorm is a clone copy for Blade Fury given to the Juggernaut. Excellent choice. The Tarn Chieftain's Shockwave deals damage in a line and is the origin for Shockwave given to Magnus. For my ancestors. War Stunt deals damage in AoE and stuns enemy units. This is the same as War Stunt given to Centaur War Runner and Slytherin Crush given to Slardar. Done. An excellent plan. Endurance Aura as seen here by the Tarn Chieftain is given to one of the neutral Kobolds, the leader, which grants bonus movement speed to an allies nearby. The Tarn Chieftain can learn Reincarnation, which brings him back to life after a short delay once dead. It also goes on cooldown after it dies. This is the origin of Wraith King's Reincarnation. The Shadow Hunter's Healing Wave can heal units in the chain and inspired Dazzle's Shadow Wave. Yaman. Big Bad Voodoo can turn allies invincible while keeping yourself stationary and channeling. Although the invincibility portion has been removed, this is used in many spells which require a stationary channeling with no target, including Crystal Maiden's Frozen Field. Hex can transform an enemy into a critter and has been given as Hex for both Shadow Shaman and for Lion. Move faster. Serpent Wards, when placed on the ground, can attack enemy units but cannot move and are magic immune. This is the same as Plague Wards given to Venomancer and Serpent Wards given to the ultimate of Shadow Shaman. Yamash. Yeah, 